Hi, my name is Chris Moore, and I'm a member of the Btree to SQL development team at Mertech Data Systems. Btree to SQL allows you to migrate your existing Btree applications to a SQL backend without the need to rewrite or recompile any of your code. Today, I'll be showing you just how easy it is to use Btree to SQL to migrate an application. This video is assuming that you have data definition files with your application. If you don't have DDFs for your application, we have a separate video discussing your options and how to migrate without DDFs. So see here, I have a Btrieve application. I've got the Btrieve access DLLs and my Btrieve files. I also have Microsoft SQL Server set up with an empty test database with no tables. That's where I'll be migrating my data to. Before we get started, I'd like to point out some prerequisites that you must meet in order to use our tool. These can be found in our quick start guide located at mertechdata.com. Click on Btrieve to SQL and scroll down to the quick start guide. As you'll see, you need Btrieve 6.15 or Pervasive SQL 7.0 or greater, data definition files, Microsoft SQL, MySQL, Oracle, or PostgreSQL, and .NET Framework version 3.5. I've previously installed uh, an evaluation copy from our website and the evaluation copy is limited to 10,000 rows and 30 columns per table. You can however request a fully functional 30-day license by contacting us at sales at mertechdata.com. So let's begin our migration. Just open up migration utility and you're going to log into your server. Once you log in to the server, it's going to ask you where your file that DDF is. You just want to make sure to point it at the right one for your application and select open. What you're seeing here is the Btree files, which will become SQL tables once migrated. And we're going to leave out anything prefixed with the X dollar sign because it's a Btree system file and it's not going to be needed anymore. Defaults are okay here. And we're going to migrate our data. Once we've done that, you can see our database now has tables. But we're not quite finished yet. What we need to do now is replace the Btrieve Access DLLs with Mertech versions of the same name. So, in order to do this without overwriting the Btrieve files, we're going to just rename them. These will no longer be needed, but I'd like to keep them around just in case I need them at a later time. Uh, the Mertech versions can be found in the Mertech installation folder. Under Btrieve, you'll see deploy. Go to deploy, you'll see four subfolders, one for each backend, and uh, we chose MSSQL since that's the back end of our choice and just copy those over after you do that you got to go out and get our license which can be found in the Mertech installation in the bin folder there's one for MySQL Oracle Postgres and SQL Server at this point we just run our application it's going to ask us to log into our server. The login can be avoided by adding these values to an INI file. And documentation on how to do that can be found by opening up the utility and going to help, Btrieve to SQL help, and it's in our documentation there. Now we use our application just like normal except for it's accessing Microsoft SQL Server instead of Btrieve on the back end. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at tech support at mertechdata.com or you can request a fully functional 30-day license at sales at mertechdata.com. Thank you.